In the last lesson, we took a piece of video footage and added some effects onto it. And these effects followed the original camera motion. So we did some basic camera tracking. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to add the camera motion tracking data to another layer. So I'm just going to load in a piece of footage. And I'm just using the same video file as before. And I'm just going to scrub through this. I'm just going to trim it. So I'm just going to work with this um, segment here. In the last tutorial, I basically added some brush strokes and also I added some um, 3D lights into the scene and they followed the camera motion. So in this uh, lesson, I'm just going to add a piece of text here and I'm going to make that follow uh, the camera motion. So first I'm just going to go to my effects and presets panel and I'm going to type warp. That's going to bring up the warp stabilizer VFX uh, module. I'm just going to drag and drop that onto the footage. So it's analyzed the video and by default it just makes the video uh, smoother. So I'm going to set the result to no motion and it says uh, to avoid extreme cropping set framing to stabilize only. So I'm just going to come here framing and choose stabilize only and we get this type of effect. That's fine. Um, so next I'm going to add a piece of text into the scene. I'm just going to use my text tool, click on the scene and I'm going to type quick VFX. I'm just going to position this uh, somewhere over here as if it's uh, sitting on top of these rocks. So next I'm going to go back to my um, scenery.mp4 and I'm going to go to advanced and where it says objective stabilize I'm going to choose apply motion to target over original and we forgot to choose a target layer so I'm just going to come here to target layer and I'm going to choose my quick VFX text layer and now as you can see um, that text layer is camera tracked to the scene so I'm just going to turn off my uh, original text layer. I'm just going to hide it and that text layer has been integrated into the scene. It's a bit jittery, but um, it's not bad for a quick automatic track. Choosing show track points brings up all the reliable tracking points that uh, the module is using to guess the motion of the camera. I'm just going to turn that off. So yeah, that's a very simple um, example of how to use this uh, setting, apply motion to target over original. Um, I hope that was useful in some way. Uh, if you found this video useful, please share it and thanks for watching.